Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial of Android programming. In this tutorial we will learn about list view. List view is a view, which groups several items and display them in vertical scrollable list. The list items are automatically inserted to the list, using an adapter that pulls content from a source, such as an array, or database. Here you can see some list views demos. In this you can see, this list display is an example of static list view, means the contents displayed in the list are hard coded. And next here are some example of dynamic list view. Such as Facebook notification etc. Let's create a simple list view. Here. I have created a new project with name list view demo. And, you can see I got two files here, one is java file, for coding the functionality of list view, and another one is xml file, in which I will design my list view. As you see, I have pasted some code in my XML file, which is the code to generate a list view in this activity. We can modify it according to our requirement. As you see, I have just changed the background color. Have you noticed, that list view contains items on an activity like this? So we need this portion to be designed. For this I will have to create one more XML file. So, here I am going to create a new XML file. Let me name it as, recentList.xml. As you see, I have created a new XML file, recentList.xml. Now I will design it. I have already created this, so you can pause the video to see the code. It is not so difficile. In this, I have simply taken two text views, in which I will inflate the data of the list. And you can also change the background of this as you like. Now we have to complete our Java coding. So to create a list view we have to create an adapter class, which is really very important. Adapter is basically, a bridge, means it works as a bridge between the, underlying views. The data. As you see, I created two text view in recent list.xml. The data which will be inflated in those text views, will come from any data source, and adapter will work as a bridge, between data source and the underlying text views here. Let I create a, an adapter class here, and name it as my adapter. I will have to extend it from any adapter super class, here I will extend it from base adapter.
As you can see here, it is giving me some error. This is because, I have to override all the abstract methods of base adapter class. So let us override these. Now I have to define the data source, which would be inflated in those text views I created. So let I take two string variables. I have taken two strings here, in which I have put some names and in another I have taken some contacts. Now I will take a context variable. And, now I will create a constructor for this adapter class and, will pass this context variable in constructor. And now, I will make some slight changes in the method which I have override from base adapter class. And in get view method, I will check, if convert view is null then, I will write the inflate code. Here you see I used layout inflator, and inflate method here takes two parameters. One is the XML layout in which we are going to inflate our data and in second I will give null at this time. Now I will typecast the text views in which data will be inflated. Here, I will have to write the ID of the text view in which data will be inflated. Now, to set the data according to their position, we will set like this.
and now we will to return convert view from this method. So, we have created our adapter class, now, we will write the coding of main activity of list view, which is our list view activity. So, first of all, here we will declare a list view variable. And then we will typecast it, in the onCreate method. Here we will type the list view which we have given in XML file. You can press Ctrl and B to see the ID. Now, we will create the object of adapter class, which we have just created. We will pass the context of list view activity in it. And now, just set the adopter in the list view object. And, that's it. Now you can run this program. And see the output. Here you can see, that a list view with some static data, which comes from array variables, has been generated. At this time, if you will click on any of these items, it will not work, because we have not yet set click listener for it. Let's create click listener for it. We will use set on item listener here. We will, require a variable to store the value of selected item of the list view. So let's take a string variable. And, let's store the clicked value in this string. Get item at position, method will get the value clicked at, selected position. It is giving error. We have to typecast this into string. Now we will use some toast. To display the selected value.
Now we'll use finish method and let's run this program. So, here you can see that which value I am clicking, it is displaying that value in Toast. But also closed the program. So I will omit this finish method and will run it again. So, as you see it was a simple list view example. You can design it more attractively. And in the next video, we will also learn about how to create dynamic list view. Keep watching and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you for watching.